Hey friend, welcome to your weekly forecast readings, guys. This is for this week, December 30th. Happy New Year's to everybody. We are in eclipse season. We just had that incredible solar eclipse in Capricorn. Changes, guys, and we are entering this new year with a level of clarity and focus and motivation, if not just sheer determination to make these incredible leaps and bounds. And I am so, so excited. If this is your first time watching me, thank you so, so much for taking the time. If it serves you or if it resonates with you in any way, please like or subscribe below or share it with somebody you feel this is going to serve. All right, Libras, let's jump into it. Let's take a deep breath in. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So be sure to check all three to make sure you have a complete understanding of your energetic forecast for the week. Guys, I am using a ring light, so if it's a little penetrating, I apologize. All right, let's get started. Loving guidance to the energy of Libra this week. Couple more. Ooh. All right, Libras. New beginnings. The Empress, Five of Swords, Leap of Faith, which is the Fool in traditional tarot, the Magician, and the Six of Wands. These purple cards here, these are major arcanas, and there's only 21 in the deck of 78, so they're not common, guys. So when they come up, that makes some big changes, and it looks fantastic. So starting out, the New Beginnings card, a lot of people are getting these cards, or that particular card. This new week is all about not just new beginnings, but it's about creation. When you have the Empress card, this is about you guys really birthing new realities. Now, for any Libras out there that are looking to get pregnant or have children, this is a really good week to do so. For any Libras that are not looking to do so, please be careful. This is a week that you're acting on your plans. Maybe it's part of your New Year's spirit, Libra, but you guys are jumping in there. You're moving forward, and you're not waiting for things to come to you, Libra. When you have the Empress, you are doing it yourself. You're creating the opportunities. You're creating the situations. You're going out there. You're doing it. You're, you're putting your energy, your effort, your physical work into making this incredible new journey for yourself. So you're extremely active this week, Libra. Now, you have the Five of Swords. This tells me, Libra, and we've seen this in the past couple of weeks, there was a situation that was just not, that was toxic. It could be a situation or an environment that was toxic. Now, this could have been a previous job that you're walking away from, a relationship that just had to go. You know, there's just things that weren't serving you. And as a result, you're deciding to take an approach that's more uplifting. Now, whether that's you have decided to have that new beginning, to have that forgiveness and that compassion, let it go and not move forward and create. This isn't, the Empress isn't about recycling. This is not something like, well, we're, you know, we're going to fix this. This is like, no, I know what I want. I know where I'm going and I'm going to do it myself. I'm not going to wait. You know, this kind of reminds me of you're at that dead end job or that toxic job with that horrible culture and you, oh, you've been working your ass off and you never get that promotion. You're like, you know what? I'm done with this. Deuces. I'm going to go to a place that actually appreciates me and I'm going to create these opportunities or you're in that relationship stuck going anywhere and you're like, you know what? I'm done waiting for you to be ready. I'm done waiting for everyone else to be ready to appreciate me or to value me. I value me. And I'm going to go and I'm going to create these opportunities regardless. And this is what you're doing this week, Libra. I love it. You have the fool, which is perfect, right, for the new beginnings. Because this is an area that's unknown. This is something that's brand new. What you do know is that it feels right. You know moving forward is better than staying put. You guys believing in yourself. And this is an incredible week. Action. You're going to see the manifestations of your work this week, whether it's um, being rewarded in some way, abundance flowing in in some way. Again, pregnancies if you're looking for that. But this is about doing what gives you joy and you can care less what anybody else thinks. And you're going to throw it in there. And you've been doing... I saw it in Libras. I saw you in 2019. I mean, that hustle was strong. And you guys are... This is not about just putting, you know, you know your head down and hustling. This is about creational energy. You have the magician with the six of wands. You guys manifested this. Believe it or not, as, as hard as 2019 really was for so many of us, there was some a lot of lessons. There always are. But 2019 was learning lessons in a very conscious way. You weren't asleep. You knew what was happening. You saw the pattern. You saw the cycles. And you're like, oh my God, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I beating myself up? I'm done. And you are out the gate, guys, this week. I'm so excited for you, Libras. Not just, and when, when the New Beginnings card comes up, I want to let you guys know, this is not just like a new chapter. The New Beginnings card is about finding your purpose. Finding 
what brings you joy. And what's beautiful about the New Beginnings card, in order to move forward into this incredible new story, Libra, you really are doing the work to let go, to be compassionate with yourself, most of all, to forgive yourself. And be like, I'm human. And as a result, and because I love myself, I'm going to do this work and I'm going to create this life and I'm going to remove myself from these toxic situations. And yeah, I don't know what lies ahead. This is a brand new a never before seen frontier. What I do know is that it feels right. It brings me joy. And that is what matters. And it's going to unfold. The universe rewards people that are like this. Now, the magician card, like I said, this is something that you manifested with the six of wands, guys. Congratulations. This is a good week, Libra. Six of wands. This is promotions, awards of some kind, um, money, <laughs> scholarships. This is about moving on to this next project. You are stepping up this week, Libra. Now, yes, this can be with work. It can be, and congratulations if it is. Maybe you've got that new title, that new job. Maybe you got that promotion. Maybe you got that corner office or whatever it is. But the six of wands is about movement it can even be about personal creative projects things that you've done for yourself the universe is saying yes you graduated you finished this cycle you left it in 2019 and starting literally the first week of 2020 on to the next this is six of gabriel's like congratulations but don't sit down too long libra you're you're supposed to get up and let's get going to the next thing you guys are going to build this incredible i don't even want us to call it momentum this beautiful unfolding and it's already starting in this first week, especially with so many major arcanas. You are being blessed. Think of it as your reward for the finish line, Libra, as you guys are unfolding in the most beautiful way. And the movement that you're contributing is allowing this incredible momentum to keep it moving. So you're not supposed to sit still for very long. So you had your holiday fun. Now let's jump back into it, guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful week. And I think when they have the Five of Swords here, they just want to let you know that you did good. Don't doubt yourself. It wasn't healthy. Wherever or with whomever or whatever it was that you recognized wasn't good, you were right. So please don't second guess or maybe I should have or no, it wasn't serving you. It was very negative. So just do your best. Do your best. And I know that's easy for me to say, but do your best to release any attachments to the outcomes of those previous. You can't control how other people think, feel, nothing. You can't do anything. You can only do what's best for you. Fill your cup, Libra. Fill it. Fill it. And you're going to attract people who are filled too, that, that see you and value you because you see you and you value you. It's going to be a beautiful week of blessings, prosperity, abundance, and congratulations again to anybody trying to have a baby or getting a new job or promotion. On to the next Libra. I'm so happy for you. If you guys would like a reading, a healing session, a life coaching session, my link will be down below. Otherwise, have a beautiful New Year's, guys, and I'll see you next week for your weekly readings.